welcome. My name is Sharon and this is Trio of Witches Tarot. And this is a fake unboxing of my new Danilof um, Oriental Tarot because my original unboxing was entirely out of focus. So this is not entirely dissimilar from that real unboxing. So it came in this envelope. I tore off the label and the envelope's already torn and the cardboard that encased the decks has been already garbaged. So I got two copies because I love his decks and I have two copies of his other decks. So I have number 20 and 21. And they came a little dented up. It's the front of the box. And so I now will segue to the other videos, which I believe are fine, and I have no idea what content I lost at this point. So, enjoy. Okay, so actually I didn't want to open this one. I wanted to open this one. It's a little more dented. If you hear external noises, it is because they are repaving our street. Um, so we're trapped. So it has the kind where it folds back a little bit. And it's on, looks like it's the same cardstock and everything as the Dana Loft Tarot. There we go, that's a good corner. And yeah, I, I guess he's not gonna print any more decks maybe on that wonderful cardstock that I got. The 2012 edition of the Dana Loft Tarot and I think that's the edition I have. So those are the backs there. They're, they're slippy. And yeah, so it's 300, 320 maybe GSM um, for everyone. So it's going to be easy to shuffle and we will do that later. So let's shuffle it. I know some people like to see that, but this is going to be easy to shuffle. So look, it's a little bit. Yeah, just right now. The shuffles. And it bridges. I'll do it one more time because it's fun. Although it's really hard with the tripod. Let's do our flip through and first impressions. Oh, he's got all his tools there. Got our public credits. The Empress. It's very pretty. These almost look like those are pillows, I'm guessing, but they look very breast like. Sorry if you can't unsee that. Our Emperor. And here's his rams. Oops. There's his rams down there. Hierophant. It's got all the things. And the lovers. Is this supposed to be like a blue serpent? Or is it just a some kind of ribbon? The chariot. So are those the emperor and the empress? What are those faces on there? They look like they could be only, I don't know, interesting. Strength, again with that blue, maybe it is just a blue ribbon. And the hermit, love this hermit, love the, the night sky behind him. It's interesting how everything is constrained by these boxes, yet the image escapes that box. Wheel of Fortune. A lot going on in that Wheel of Fortune. J 
justice. The hanged man. Death. That's a very cool death. Temperance. Water going up like that. Interesting. And the devil. This is an awesome devil. Awesome. He's got like an eye in his belly button. And the tower. Ooh, that guy's on fire. Ah. And the star. Very pretty. And the moon. I like this moon. What are these down here? Some kind of fish? Oh no. Okay. So it's a crab instead of a lobster? Yes. It's a crab instead of a lobster. And his son. I think his other tarot too, they're children. Yes, they are. They're children. And judgment. The world. Well, that's a sexy world. And the ace. I like how it's an animal. I wonder if they're all some kind of creature for the aces. I think they are. They're all creatures and they're all winged. The fire down there. It's very different, right, than the hand holding it out. Two. Three. Four. I like that. I like this. These mountains back here and then some arch back there. Instead of a castle in the background. And the five. They don't appear so much to be fighting as... I don't even know what. Like a dance or something. Six. Uh, look at the look on the camel's face. That's awesome. Seven and eight. Yeah, our usual. I think that's what his other tarot looks like too. I think I'm starting to feel about the eight of wands, like a lot of people do about the three of swords. And the nine. It's cool how they almost look like they're trees or they're blending in with the trees back there. The ten. So it's, you know, it's a very traditional RWS. And then the page. So we have the P and then the wand symbol there. Fire going on up here, almost like it's a volcano or something, or just the mountain is on fire. He seems unconcerned. And the knight, so the knight is with the a lowercase k. And then I'm not sure what that symbol is. Do you know what that symbol is? I believe that the knight, queen, and king all have symbols on them. Some of them I may recognize. Some of them I do not. She's got her kitty cat. And she's got a, a ram there, which is interesting. And the king. And then the symbol again. I don't know. Are those astrological? Planetary? If you know, please let me know. And the ace. Okay, so it's not, for the cups, at least it's not an animal, but it's still winged. And really like this. And 
and the two. Very traditional. Well, sort of. You don't have that third person. That th you know, it's usually a man and two women. And the three. Very colorful clothes. And the four. So there shouldn't be, I mean, there is no guidebook with this, but any RWS guidebook would work. So you could use any book. There's a little bit of symbology in it, which um, of all of the correspondences and such. And there you go. There's your rainbow and the ten cups and the page. like waterfalls. And a queen. Okay, so she's got a crab there. So is this... Okay, so pretty sure Cancer? Yes? Correct me. Maybe that's what that was on the other one. And the king. And so... Oh, he's got a scorpion up there. Okay, so maybe I was missing, the images are pretty busy, so maybe in the other one I was missing it entirely. We'll see for the next ones. So our ace, again, we have a, a creature instead of a, a human. Very cool. Like how he gave them a little belly fat. And the threes, I guess we got a little bit of a different Representation, I like this, that it's that heart-head connection and the swords are just going, they're not even like going through his head, they're going through his headdress, whatever you call that. And the four, and the five, and the six is a little different. We've almost got like a Marseille arrangement down here. And they got some choppy waters ahead for them. And the seven. And eight. And that's a little different. She's tied to the swords. She could move her hands up and down and free herself in a lickety split. And the nine. It's a little different. Again, with the interesting, almost the Marseille arrangement up there, instead of all pointing at her. And she looks very unhappy. It's hard to know what she's unhappy about or what she's stressed out about. Is she just stressed out about nothing? And the 10. And the page. And the night. Okay, so there we go. All right. I'm picking up on it now. The astrology a little bit. I don't know enough about it to, like, tell you what that symbol is. I'm going to guess it's Libra, though. And... So we got something up there, and this one I don't know. So I'm curious, since I don't know much about astrology, if you picked up on the correspondences with the court cards, are they what you're used to? Are they what is in other decks? Did he change it up a little? So now we have a bull. So I'm going to guess that maybe, I don't know, is there some astrological correspondence even with the aces. This I must research. I do love these winged creatures though. So are they all from 
the aces. I should look at the aces. Are they all from the world card? I'm going to pull that one out and find the rest and we'll see. And the two. So it's interesting that um, they aren't all the same, right? Oops. Ace. Got a different different kinds of pentacles. I mean, this one looks like coins more, right? And then this one has the elemental symbols there. Interesting. Interesting. I'm picking up on more and more in here. So we've got a lot of symbols on here. Interesting that he threw that in there. Sneaky. Very sneaky. Five. These, yeah, they look very unhappy. Yes, see, there they are again. So we get the crescent moon, and then we've got all of the elemental symbols there. But it's interesting. In, so in this card, rather than being a, a church that is in the position to assist them, even their, their place of sanctuary is destroyed. So they have, they have no place to go. Hmm. Seven. Here we go again with all of the different symbols that he's, and this one almost looks like it's a rose maybe, it's supposed to be. Huh. Snuck in a lot of stuff, that Danilov. Like this Siamese cat there. And page. And the night. That's interesting on his shield there. I like these camels in this deck. And the queen. So is that Aries? What is that? Ah! Wish I knew more astrology. I need to learn more. Okay, and then we have an elemental symbol here. So did all of the queens also have that somewhere snuck in? And here we have a symbol on there. And back here, they look the same. So is this Taurus? Okay, I'm going to pull out the aces and we'll see. Yes, so in every corner of the world card and the Wheel of Fortune in this deck is the symbols for the... I think that's what it is. And if we look at this, make sure this is in frame. So she, the Ace of Cups, is up here. And then we have the bird in that corner. The lion, it's actually a lioness in this instance, down here. And then we have the bull in this corner. And if we get the world card, it's going to be exactly the same where we have her. See, it's the crowns in this one. The crown is the same, so that's interesting. Okay, so then, and then we have the bird and the lion and the bull. So that's very cool. So our first pairing is going to be the Soul Trees Oracle Cards. This is just the regular edition. And those are the backs. I think this is gonna be very nice.
Okay, we're going to stop there. This one is a 10. It's definitely a 10. The next one I'm going to try is the Morning Calm Oracle. Those are the backs. How do those look together? Oh, kind of nice. Okay, let's see. So this one, hmm, some of the cards really worked for me and some of them didn't. I think it was like the, the more modern, the more modern images didn't quite, like this one works really, really well, but then when they're, you know, more modern day, they don't quite work as well for me. So, hmm, I think this one is a seven. Next one we're going to try is the Untamed Truth Oracle Cards. And I think these are going to work in a very weird way. Okay, so I really, really like this. It's a very interesting contrast. I really think it works, though. It's not quite a 10 like the Soul Trees was. But I'm going to give this one, I'm going to give this one a 9. Okay, the next one we're going to do is the Kindred Fauna Oracle. Okay. really really like it in a I in a very interesting way it's one I made so I think this is gosh is it an eight or is it a nine? Oh this is a hard one I'm gonna give it an eight right now. May change. Okay, the next one is Kami et Yokai, which I keep in this beautiful um, Baba Studios bag made with kimono silk. Look at that. Took it out of its uh, bigger box. And this deck is just so beautiful. Those are the bags. And I think I learned about this deck from um, Maureen at The Waves of Your Soul because it's a French deck.
Okay. So this one, I think, is a 10. Okay, the last one is the Hero's Journey Dream Oracle. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this. I like it. Hmm. I think I'm going to give it, oh, I'm going to give it a seven. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to like and subscribe and click on the bell if you'd like to see when I have new videos up. And comment. Do you disagree with my readings? Do you agree with my readings? Do you have other decks that you think would go with the Danilov Oriental? Take care of yourself. Have a nice day. And bye.